opposite things happen at the same time. Like suddenly you don't hear anything at all or your hearing becomes hyper acute. Time slows down or it speeds up so fast that you just can't comprehend. And uh, then the shooting started. That I kind of blocked out for a long time um, because here I am holding the head of one of my heroes, somebody who I really looked up to, someone who was a mentor, and I'm literally holding her head together while she's bleeding out. And I was told that Congresswoman Giffords was the next patient due to arrive. It was something that happened to those people in those places. You know, you'd always stop and listen to where it happened. Be like, oh yeah, okay, fine. You know, never in a million years would I have dreamed that I would be a victim of gun violence. It just didn't make any sense. I've told mothers that their children have passed away because of gun violence. Um, a seven-year-old boy standing at his door as criminals exchanged gunfire in the street. And he got shot in the liver, came to us and passed away on the operating room table. I had to tell his mother. Everyday Americans are saying, enough. I need you, my elected official, to have the courage to do something about this. What are you going to do? We learn and then we forget because it's, it's difficult. Legislators need to take the binders off. We came here to do the hard work. Our stories, I think, are going to be helpful in helping change the narrative and really help educate our colleagues. If I'm going to do this work, and I am, there's no one I'd rather do it with than Daniel Hernandez and Randy Freeze and the others here in the house.